And while those state and federal officials are pushing to reopen schools this fall after being shut down since March, we wanted to know what teachers have to say about it. Fox 44's Kendall Green spoke with the president of the Colleen Educators Association about schools reopening in the fall. Kendall, what are you hearing tonight? Adam, they say they want to go back. They're passionate about teaching their students and passionate about education. But they want to reopen schools safely, and they worry that's not how it's being done right now. From President Trump's Twitter account to briefings at the White House, the language regarding returning to school is the same across the board. Very clear that kids have got to go back to school. We must rise to the challenge of educating all children. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos expressing an urgent need to return to school for students and teachers. And the TEA handing down their guidelines for a safe return to on-campus instruction on Tuesday. But Rick Boulay, the president of the Colleen Educators Association, after talking with several teachers in the region, isn't on board with the plan so far. They're concerned. They're worried. Uh, they're upset. They don't feel listened to. They don't feel addressed. They're not even mentioned. He calls the state agency's proposed policies for schools and the adopted practices for themselves inconsistent with each other. When you have the governor's mansion that's not open, DEA is working virtually until January, but teachers are expected to go into the schools. That's a problem. You know, why are they able to not go into their buildings? But we have to. Boulay normally speaks on behalf of the Educators Association, but this hits personal for him because while he loves teaching, he is also immunocompromised. And according to the CDC's website, people with weakened immune systems are at higher risk of getting severely sick. I'm a type 2 diabetic, uh, and so I am considered to be immunocompromised because diabetics are also considered to have a variety of potential underlying health conditions that are associated with high risk. Uh, of contraction of COVID. Now, he added that the statistics are against him and other teachers across the state with underlying conditions. I'll explain how coming up at 9.30. In the studio, I'm Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.